a child will be born to us, a son will be given to us, and the government will rest upon his shoulders, and his name will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Eternal Father, Prince of Peace. There will be no end to the increase of his government or of peace on the throne of David and over his kingdom to establish it and uphold it with justice and righteousness from then on and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will accomplish this. God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a village in Galilee, to a virgin named Mary. She was engaged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of King David. Gabriel appeared to her and said, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. Confused and disturbed, Mary tried to think what the angel could mean. Don't be frightened, Mary, the angel told her. God has chosen to bless you. You will become pregnant and have a son, and you're to name him Jesus. He will be very great and will be called the Son of the Most High. But Mary asked the angel, How can I have a baby? I am a virgin. The angel replied, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the baby born to you will be holy, and he will be called the Son of God. While Mary was still a virgin, she became pregnant by the Holy Spirit. And Joseph, her fiancé, being a just man, decided to break their engagement quietly so as to not disgrace her publicly. As he considered this, he fell asleep, and the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream. Joseph, son of David, the angel said, don't be afraid to go ahead with your marriage to Mary. For the child in her has been conceived by the Holy Spirit, and she will have a son and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. And all of this was to fulfill the Lord's message through his prophet. Behold, the virgin will conceive a child, she will give birth to a son, and he will be called Emmanuel, meaning God with us. This prophecy from Isaiah 7.14 was given 700 years before Jesus was born. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel of the Lord had commanded him. He brought Mary home to be his wife, but she remained a virgin until her son was born. And at the time, the Roman Emperor Augustus decreed that a census should be taken throughout the Roman Empire. All returned to their own towns to register for the census. And because Joseph was a descendant of King David, he had to go to Bethlehem in Judea, David's ancient home. He traveled from the village of Nazareth in Galilee and took with him Mary, his wife, who was great with child. And while they were there, the time came for her baby to be born. She gave birth to her first child, a son, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger. That night, there were shepherds in the fields outside of the village guarding their flocks of sheep. Suddenly, an angel of the Lord appeared among them, and the radiance of the Lord's glory surrounded them. They were terribly frightened, but the angel reassured them. Don't be afraid, he said. I bring you good news, a great joy for everyone. A Savior, yea, the Messiah. The Lord has been born tonight in Bethlehem in the city of David. And this is how you will recognize him. You will find a baby lying in a manger, wrapped in swaddling cloths, and suddenly, the angel was joined by vast hosts from heaven, the armies of heaven praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. The angels left and the shepherds said to each other, Come! Let us go to Bethlehem and see this wonderful thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they ran to the village and they found Mary and Joseph, and there was the baby lying in the manger. 
The shepherds told everyone what had happened and what the angel had said to them about this child. All who heard their story were astonished, but Mary kept these things in her heart. The shepherds went back to their fields and flocks, glorifying and praising God. Jesus was born in the town of Bethlehem, in Judea, during the reign of King Herod. And at the same time came wise men from the east to Jerusalem asking, Where is the newborn king of the Jews? We've seen a star that arose, and we have come to worship him. Herod was deeply disturbed by their question, as was all of Jerusalem. He called a meeting of the leading priests and teachers of religious law. Where do the prophets say the Messiah will be born, he asked. In Bethlehem, they said. For this is what the prophet wrote. O Bethlehem of Judea, you are not just a lowly village of Judah, for a ruler will come to you who will be the shepherd for my people Israel. This prophecy is found in Micah 5 and verse 2, and 2 Samuel chapter 5 and verse 2. Both were written 700 years before Jesus was born. So Herod sent a message to the wise men, asking them to come and see him. At this meeting, he learned the exact time when he first saw the star. And then he told them, go to Bethlehem, search diligently for the child, and when you find him, come and tell me that I may go and worship him too. After this meeting, the wise men went on their way. And once again, the star appeared to them to guide them to Bethlehem. And went ahead of them and stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were filled with joy. They entered the house where the child and his mother were. And they fell down and they worshiped him. And they opened their treasure chest and gave him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. But when it was time to leave, they went another way because God had warned them in a dream not to return to Herod. After the wise men were gone, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream. Get up, flee to Egypt with the child and his mother, the angel said. Stay there until I tell you to return because Herod will try and kill the child. That very night, Joseph left for Egypt with the child and Mary, his mother, and they stayed there until Herod's death. This fulfilled what the Lord had spoken through the prophet, out of Egypt have I called my son. Herod was furious. When he learned the wise men had outwitted him, he sent soldiers to kill all the baby boys in and around Bethlehem who were two years old because the wise men had told him that the star had first appeared to them about two years before. Then later, when Herod died, God's angel appeared in a dream to Joseph in Egypt. Get up, take the child and his mother and return to Israel. All those who wish to murder the child are dead. So Joseph obeyed. He arose and he took the child and his mother and he re-entered Israel. When he heard, though, that Herod's son had taken over as king in Judea, he was afraid to go there. But then Joseph was directed in a dream to go to the hills of Galilee. On arriving, he settled in the village of Nazareth, fulfilling the words of the prophets, He shall be called a Nazarene. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And this is the story of Christmas. Christmas.